Hey crafters, it's Alex Vanover back with Divine Design Crafts. And today I'm gonna to show you how to put HTV on a baseball cap with a regular heat press. I have seen so many posts on Facebook recently about crafters who wanna buy a heat press with all these different attachments, including a cap press. But I have great news for you. You do not need a cap press to do this project. You can do it with just a regular old heat press and it is so easy. You guys are going to love it. It's inspired by my cat penguin if you guys know me you know that I have a black cat named penguin who is the absolute love of my life so I made this hat because I'm inspired by being his fur mama so here's what you guys are gonna need to do this project first you're gonna need of course some sort of hat mine is a hundred percent polyester hat from jiffyshirts.com I will link that down in the description below the next thing you're going to need is a cut and weeded piece of HTV whatever decal you plan to place on your hat then you're gonna need some heat resistant tape, which you can see right there. And you're going to need some oven mitts. If you don't have oven mitts, you can use a folded up kitchen towel or something to protect your hand from the heat. But I recommend oven mitts or some kind of heat protectant glove so that you don't burn yourself. And lastly, you may need a pair of scissors to cut your tape. So the first step to getting started with pressing HTV on your hat is to add the decal to the front of the hat. Now, if you stick it just like this, it's simply not going to stay while you're pressing it. So that's what the heat resistant tape is for. I cut four pieces. I'm just going to put one piece around each side to keep the transfer tape in place. Don't forget if your hat is a little bit wrinkly, if it's been stored for a while and it's got some wrinkles in this brim, make sure that you hold it up against the press and get the, those wrinkles out because you wanna make sure that the surface you're applying your HTV to is as flat as possible. So first I'm gonna apply this Caesar Glitter HTV on the front. I like this texture a little bit better because it's thicker and I think it just pops a little bit more on the hat, but I am gonna put an easy weed decal on the back of this hat so that you can see what it looks like. So this is the part of the process where your oven mitts come in. You wanna put these oven mitts on to protect your hands because we're actually gonna hold the hat up against the top hot platen of the heat press. And since we're holding it against the top of the press and we don't have a timer to count down, we're just gonna have to manually count as we hold this hat. My heat press is set to 320 degrees because that's the application temperature that Caesar recommends for their HTV. But you need to set your heat press to whatever the application instructions are for the vinyl that you are using. So I'm just gonna take my hat and hold it by the brim and get it as flat as I can on the top of this platen. So I'm really pushing it into that top platen of my heat press. And I'm just gonna have to count to know how long to hold it there. And when you feel like that's stuck down okay, then you're gonna start to rotate your hat because the front of the hat is round, the decal is gonna be rounded as well. So then we're going to shift our hat to one side and we're gonna press this, this side of the decal up against the platen of the heat press. And then lastly, I'm gonna rotate it to the other side and I'm gonna press this side of the decal up against the platen of the heat press. And even though our decal looks a little bit flattened against our hat, it looks like we're done. So let's see how it peels off. So I'm just gonna peel off my heat resistant tape. And the reason you wanna use that heat resistant tape is because if you were to use regular tape to hold the transfer sheet onto your heat press, the adhesive may melt under all the heat and it may be permanently stuck to your hat. We have a few areas of our decal that are struggling to stick to the hat, so I'm gonna put my oven mitt back on and try to concentrate on those areas. And I'm really gonna concentrate on holding that center flat up against the platen. 
So I have my supporting hand just pushing on the back of the oven mitt, being really, really careful not to burn my hands to see if we can get some extra pressure there in the middle. All right, let's see how it did. I'm gonna give it one last press. And notice that my heat press definitely has a Teflon sheet over top of it. This is really important, especially for projects like this, because if your HTV were to slide out from underneath your carrier sheet, you could stick it to the top of your heat press and you might have a real mess on your hands trying to clean this platen off. So that's what this protective Teflon sheet is used for on the heat press. And so far, my glitter HTV looks great on the front of my hat. Now I'm going to show you how to apply Easy Weed to the back of your hat for a second spot to personalize. Since the carrier sheet is fairly small over my decal, I'm going to apply heat resistant tape again to my decal before we press this on our hat. I'm going to use the corner section of the heat press to press the Easy Weed onto the back of my hat instead of pressing it directly on the platen. Don't forget to unhook your Velcro or your back enclosure so that you can get better contact with the heat press. So now that I have it on the corner of my heat press, I'm going to tack it down for about five seconds and then I'm going to use a pressing pillow and finish pressing this on my hat. I'm just going to use the corner of my pressing pillow and put it underneath my hat so that I can lift the decal above the seams of the hat and make sure that the platen gets really good contact with my hat. So I'm going to hold the hat onto the pressing pillow with my bottom hand, and lower my heat press onto that and we'll press it for another 10 seconds or so. All right, let's peel off the heat resistant tape and see how it pressed. It stuck perfectly to the back of my ball cap. Once you're finished with your hat, you may have to roll your bill back up a little bit. You may have flattened it somewhat when you were pressing the front of the hat on the heat press. You guys, thank you so much for coming to hang out with me while I pressed HTV on this ball cap. If you have any questions about this process, please be sure to drop those in the comments below for me. And if you enjoyed hanging out today, please make sure to press the subscribe button below. I love hanging out with you guys. I put out new videos every Friday. When you guys finish your ball caps, make sure to post a picture below in the comments. I would love to see all your creations. If you want to hang out more often just than when I post videos, go check out the community tab over on my channel. Let's craft again soon.